they can show the parents how they can help the kids to develop the skills that they need to play tennis. And it can be simple, throwing and catching, moving to and from a bouncing ball, uh, controlling uh, a racket, you know, playing with balloons, bean bags, and so forth. We make it fun, we make it doable, we make it very progressive, because nowadays with kids, if something's too difficult for them, they just go, I can't do it, and they go off and find something, something else. So parents is a big part of our workforce build. And obviously, just now in Shetland, tennis isn't really a, a major sport. Do you think that can change anytime soon? Well, I think, uh, I think it can change anywhere because tennis wasn't exactly a major sport in Scotland 10 years ago. And, you know, it, it's a, you know, there's a huge opportunity, I think, to capitalise on the excitement and the profile that, that tennis now has. I think the challenge up here, of course, is people who know how to deliver um, activity, and that's really why we're here. Um, tomorrow we'll spend um, a few hours at the new school and we'll be showing teachers and students how they can deliver tennis within the school facility. I mean, you've got fantastic facilities here it's got walls you can hit off walls the ball always comes back when you play against a wall so I think my point is it's not always about having tennis courts or plush um, facilities it's actually about having people who can make activity happen uh, so that's really why we're here and obviously Andy from a young age less so Jamie I think but Andy was very competitive um, how should a parent kind of handle a really competitive child well, they were both really, com really competitive, but they were also really competitive with each other. I think that's the whole thing about um, siblings. And I always say that, you know, Andy's uber competitiveness came from having a, a brother who was a bit older and a bit bigger and a bit stronger than him, you know, through through his formative years. And all he ever wanted to do was to, to beat Jamie. But you know, life is competitive. You know, we have to introduce kids to competition. They have to be able to deal with victory and with defeat, they have to learn resilience and perseverance and self-esteem and so much of these uh, life skills can actually come through playing sports so I'm a, a big believer in sport being a, a huge part of a, a child's upbringing.